We also watched AEW Dynamite August 18th, 2021. They're in Houston, Texas. The Boz is in the ringside. And then they're going around the card, and Jim Ross explains that Sammy Guevara and Chris Jericho will reach the end of their five labors of love. I laughed. We also get the Young Bucks versus Jurassic Express. Jurassic Express. Sean Spears versus Sammy Guevara. Sammy Guevara will have a major announcement. Penelope Ford versus Thunder Rosa. And Sting and Darby Allen versus 2.0. First, we're going to hear from John Moxley and Eddie Kingston, or at least that's what we're told. But as Mox and Kingston are coming through the crowd, they are attacked by both 2.0 and Daniel Garcia and some kind of weapon. So 2.0 has made a name for themselves. They beat up Mox and Kingston. They get to the ring. They demand Sting and Darby come out right now. And so Sting comes out. Sting got new music, by the way. This, I don't know if it's new this week, but it starts with the same symphony entrance he's had his entire AEW run and then turns into like a rock thing instead. So, this immediately, immediately all crowd and concourse brawling. It's three on two. Garcia is out there blatantly cheating. Eventually, Eddie Kingston recovers, drags Garcia out of the fight. Now it's fair. They're out on the ramp, and they turn a skateboard upside down, wheels up, and suplex Darby onto it. Wow. Honestly, as, as bad as that looked, I mean, it looked to me like he mostly hit his legs on the ramp to break the fall. Mm-hmm. The, the one that was much scarier to me is when they vaulted him into the, like, the whatever wall. it was. And it was, it's not the wall, but it was like something hanging from the ceiling. A wall because hanging over the ceiling. He, he hit it with his head, which of course is fake. But then, like, his lower body kept going. And so when he fell, it looked like he banged the back of his head on the ground. Mm. I presume he was fine because he kept working. And it, it's Darby. I'm sure he's taking far less bumps on your average weekend. Mm. But that looked fucking scary, that bump right there. Yes. So it took Darby out of the match briefly, and so 2.0 goes to double team Sting. They power bomb him through a table, at which point he fires up and totally no sells that he's beating his chest like it's 1989 again, and 2.0 are terrified. Darby recovers, kicks them into a double scorpion death drop, and Sting looks at these two geeks side by side and he stacks them up like cordwood, slaps them in a double scorpion death lock, and 2.0 taps out. A very, very, very fun opener. And then Sting goes out and has a big hug for the boss. And Jim Ross notes they've made movies together. And just, just fun, fun, fun all around. You know, I I can't help but notice that we've used the term, this was like a party many times. Mm, yes, yes. And it is true that at least once on every AEW show, there is a match that just feels like a fucking party. And the fans are going crazy, and they're doing all sorts of nutty shit, and the baby faces get a big victory, and everybody goes nuts. And I just don't see this in WWE. You rarely see the big party moment. And it's one of the things, you know, granted, it's like, you know, 2021, and, you know, we're not supposed to talk about you know, women being out there just to shake their asses and dance like the Nitro girls used to do. But let's be real. That was one of the things about Nitro where it felt like a party. You're watching a wrestling show, and then there's a brief intermission, and these women come out, and they dance. And the place goes crazy, and they're having fun and having a great time or whatever. And that's, like, when I buy a ticket to a wrestling show, I just want to go there and go to the fucking doctor's office. I want to go there and have fun. And this was fun and once again uh to make another comparison with wwe here is the latest wwe release that after like three fucking weeks you just look at wwe and you're like how the fuck could you guys not figure out what to do with 2.0 yeah yeah. jesus look at these guys i'm watching this match and i'm just thinking are these guys hired yet or like what the fuck's going on find out today that they got hired today so uh and it was today that they got hired so thank god they deserve it they've been great a fantastic act go back and watch nxt from six weeks ago and watch ever rise and you'll be just baffled that it's the same team what they've done with these guys but a great a great opening segment so much fun eric tyler mullins wants to know if you had no restrictions at all in your diet what food would you love to eat over and over again ah cup of noodles is my favorite your choice is cup of noodles? Uh-huh. Not a steak or 
Escargot. Nope. Cup o noodles. Yeah, that's the only thing that doesn't upset my stomach. Well, I think the the question, Granny, is if it didn't upset your stomach, if there were no consequences, you could just eat I, any I food. Still, I still say cup of noodles. If you enjoy these videos, for just seven dollars and ninety nine cents per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.